Yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy, the United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. an atoll. Little more than sand, trees, and a small Japanese military base. Miller's reconnaissance team landed there almost a week ago. Since then, we've heard nothing. The waiting's over. We're going in. For all we know, they're already dead. If what little we know about the Japanese is true, it might be better if they are. Years after the raid on Macon, we're heading up an all-out assault on Peleliu Island. No POWs to rescue this time. Our mission? Take the airfield and cripple their supply network. Alongside familiar faces, fresh-faced recruits. The older guys like Miller, Sergeant Sullivan, and myself, we're known as the old breed. Holmes, we're not even out of our 20s. numb by Sullivan's death. We just never saw it coming. I still can't believe it. Most solid, dependable, and courageous Marine we've ever known. Blink of an eye. Gone. Now it's down to me. And me alone. To lead these men, my brothers, safely through this campaign. AA fire from Peleliu Airfield is knocking our planes right out of the sky. Taking this airfield is our only priority. Whatever the cost. Rotten cancer of the Fascist Reich ravages Europe like a plague. The relentless drive into our motherland steals the lives of men, women, and children alike. The arrogance of their leaders is matched only by the brutality of their soldiers. These are the darkest days of the Nazi occupation of Stalingrad. Army's advance into Germany is swift and brutal. In mere months, we have reached Silo Heights, the last line of defense before the German capital. We outnumber the Germans ten to one. Wave upon wave of our infantry are unleashed upon them to clear the way for our army. Once we have control of Silo, we will begin the march to Berlin. There, 
we will ensure that every sacrifice is repaid in blood. Though we've taken the airfield, the enemy still hold on to most of the inland areas of the island. A maze of trenches and artillery positions run right through this whole godforsaken rock. The enemy's dug in deep, and we have to get our hands dirty. Flamethrowers. We'll burn them out. Getting this far has been tougher than any of us could ever have imagined. Taking the airfield and the mortar pits showed us that the enemy will fight to the death for every last inch of this. They're making their last stand in the jungles and caves that surround the heavy guns at the point. We take them, and we take Peleliu. We have lost many brave men, but their sacrifice is not in vain. Our tanks now form a line of steel so powerful that all German resistance will be crushed beneath its mighty treads. Today, we will watch as Sila falls, along with all those foolish enough to stand in our way. Wrote their will. When our train reaches Berlin, they will have nowhere left to hide. Our grip tightens around the black heart of Berlin. The Fuhrer demands all to shed their last drop of blood in its defense. The old, the young, the weak. stand for Germany, they die for Germany, building by building, room by room, one right at a time. The Battle of Peleliu finally came to an end in November 1944, three bitter months after it was supposed to. When we shipped out for Okinawa, the airfield became a vital asset in the campaign. Among those stationed there are the crews of the U.S. Navy Black Cats, men who would risk everything before they would leave any of us in enemy waters. Report. The last few months on Okinawa have taken their toll. Morale is low. It's the rain, sir. And the mud. Tanks are getting bogged down. Supplies aren't getting through. We can't even get the wounded out. Yes, sir. Understood. of us we've done. Every night we lay in a filthy foxhole praying the enemy won't slit our throats. Every day we're spent crawling through the mud and the dirt when our bullets whistle all around. But this is the last time we're going to have to put our lives on the line. This is the enemy's last stand. When we take Shuri Castle, we go home. All of us.
The Red Army encircles the Reichstag, the parliament building and final stronghold of the Fascist Reich. In the surrounding streets, we choke the life from those who will still dare to defend it. It is an honor and a privilege to play a part in this glorious battle. When our flag flies over the city, our enemy's defeat and humiliation will be beyond question. Our vengeance will be complete. The path towards our glorious victory has been a journey of blood and brutality. All of it has been necessary. When the flag of our motherland flies atop the Reichstag, all of Berlin will know that the evil of the fascist Reich has been wiped from the face of the earth. Here's a solemn. General Eisenhower informs me that the forces of Germany have surrendered to the United Nations. The victory won in the West must now be won in the East. Thank you. 